Hello everybody, hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where oh boy are you in for a treat today. Why are you in for such a treat? Because you are going to be listening to some of the best technical analysis in the game right now. We are going to be going through the Bitcoin chart together. I'm going to be going through the current levels that I'm trading, why I have now switched into a short position on Bitcoin, how I am looking to take this, how we're going in the competition, how everything is going inside of the world of cryptocurrency and all you need to do is pay attention and you are going to be ahead of the game just by listening to the levels that we're trading right now. So without further said or do, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into what we absolutely love, and that is trading Bitcoin. So let's go. Uh, right, so from the last update that I've done, we were actually trading around here. I said I am in a long position looking for higher. We have a major resistance around $21,000. And if you, well, actually, we went through that major resistance fairly easily. There was no reaction. This is why I always say have an alert set, have an alert set, check the reaction. If the reaction is week or there is no reaction at all. It really simply means there's no trade and we look for the next level above us. We actually went through 21,000 fairly simply in the end and moved up to the next level that we had above us, which was actually, if, you pay, if you've been paying attention to my videos over the past week, I did give you this level what, actually over two weeks ago, that 22,552 daily level, okay? I've mentioned this in a few videos that I've done for the public, but that 22,552, you can see, was given to you over two weeks ago. And the reaction of this, I mean, was just absolutely crazy special okay you can see other people looking and recognizing this was a long target once we hit that level this was the reaction look at that i mean we're talking about to the exact <laughs> this is no <laughs> exaggeration it was to the exact dollar you can see the high there twenty two thousand five hundred and fifty two dollars that was a level recognized two weeks in advance respected to the absolute Dollar, ladies and gentlemen, I just hope you understand the power <laughs> that is in that market. That was crazy. So that really gave us the high. And I want to talk you through why are we coming down here? What were some of the reasonings for this move to the downside? Pay close attention because, you know, this is the reason why, period. Okay. So after putting in that high, that was the last daily level that we had on the chart here locally. It was an extremely big level being the last daily before a potential large rise in price, at least to the top of the range, which we're talking about another few thousand dollars. So this is a really important level. And after seeing a clear rejection, okay, this is a clear rejection. We come down, we consolidate, we break market structure. So after breaking market structure, we have given ourselves a clear rejection. We are well, I was anyway, looking for shorts. And for the people that always want to know what's happening before the move happens, that's where you got to come across into the Discord. Why? Because that's where I gave the exact trading setup I was looking for way before it happened. I was looking for this move up into the CC. This is where I'm going to be taking my short positions around this zone. And I'm looking for then a really large drop to the downside to at least the weekly once again. But as we know, we went through the weekly fairly easily. And now we are back down below the weekly. This is the beauty of trading still in that short position right now. But that was the trading plan that I gave to everybody. We're really simply looking for that pump in price to that CC zone slash the daily point of control, which was slightly above the CC. And, you know, that's the, that's the time we're waiting and going to be taking those shorts. And this was Madre mia, <laughs> very, very perfect indeed. We had that move up into the CC and I executed, you know, there's no hesitation. There's no overthinking. It's that's the short position. That was given live in the time inside of my group. Everybody that was paying attention knew the area that I wanted to take that short, saw me take that short position, and well, about an hour later, we finally got that drop. So that's the beauty of, of having updates in the group because that, that was a pretty legendary call, if I say so myself. Not only giving the daily level two weeks in advance for everybody on the public, but then inside the group, obviously giving that pretty legendary, easy, quite relatively easy short position, okay? And obviously we take it down, and what's happened now, we have finally come back down below the weekly. And I'm going to talk you through what we're looking through next. But you can see, obviously, it took a little bit longer than expected off of the original move to the upside back down. It took a few days to play out rather than one day, but <laughs> I don't think anybody's really good in mind about that. We obviously, in the end, came back down below that weekly, okay? And obviously, we can see how that has affected our team position on the World Series of Trading. We are now in the top 10, and obviously, I am ranked with 11th within this with over doubling my account already. So for the people that always want to say, wait, 
the only place we can really speak is the World Series of Trading right now. And obviously, we are made this move to the downside. So as I told you, I'm going to tell you what I'm looking for next, okay? So we can currently see that we're bouncing down at around $20,400, okay? So there are a few really important levels that I'm looking for, okay? Um, first of all, we've got the daily just below us there, 20,142 to the lower CC at 19,912. So this is, of course, a nice level of support zone down to that lower weekly if we should we lose this level again we always want to be prepared for a few different levels okay this would be our first level of resistance like 21,000 was our first level of resistance this is our first level of support should we break that we look to the next level just as when we broke 21,000 we look towards the next level that time that level was respected to the absolute dollar okay obviously then what we can start to do is pull a fixed range of the current potential range that we're forming We've got a few important levels in here obviously we lost that weekly level we back tested it as resistance for another move to the downside so that didn't act as support we actually did get a perfect pretty nice back test rejection move to the downside which was also support support flipping into resistance so had a few different confluences in here as well as a lower term time frame cc you know a few different reasons to try and get into that short position for another move to the downside okay so what we could be looking at now is either a reclaim of back into the range okay so if we reclaim that range we're reclaiming that weekly of course then we can look for a pump and a move to the upside but while we remain below the value area low, while we remain below the weekly the highest probabilities in my opinion would be for continued downside you know i'm always as a trader open to accepting the market can move in any direction anybody that tells you that market's only going to go up is incorrect because the market can go up and down. And anyone tells you, oh, we're definitely going down now, it's also incorrect because no one knows with 100% certainty what's going to happen. We're just trading very high probabilities. How do we get these high probabilities? It's by using our technical analysis. It's by having a good understanding of the market and knowing you know, the patterns that occur time and time and time again. Again, that's a high probability trade. You know, some of our trades, 80, 90% win rates, but there's no 100%. Even with a really good setup, I still understand at the end of the day, there's a potential to lose that's why I've got really good risk management. Okay, that's the most important thing here. We're not getting liquidated. We're not getting wrecked. Okay, um, so yeah, that, those basically that's the really quick update that I wanted to give you today. Why we rejected from where we rejected from, how I was able to then tell after changing that market structure, that's the short that you want to get into. Why I was then patient, remaining for lower, how we finally did get lower. Now that's now that short position is in profits, take profits are hit, stop loss into profits as well. I am now comfortable to either wait for lower prices or a reclaim. If we get the reclaim, guess what? I'll close that short in profits, look for a potential long setup. Right now, I'm going to remain patient until I get an actionable trade set up, okay? Sometimes you're in a zone where there's no trade. I need to wait for the next bit of data. I need to wait for a high probability trade set up, okay? I'm comfortable to remain in that position right now, waiting for the next trade set up to come to me. And ladies and gentlemen, as I told you right now, chart champions, we can actually come over here and look at the live view. Place number eight in the whole of the world. By the way, this is eight in the whole of the, eighth in the, whole of the world. Second out of all the English speaking teams, because uh, obviously, Obviously, you know, the Koreans, shout out to the Koreans. The Koreans are like insane. Look at this, like over 2,000% profit. I mean, they're obviously really, really good sculpt traders. Hats off to them, fair play. Um, you know, currently we are ranked second out of the English teams. I had a comment from yesterday, somebody saying, Daniel, why are you why are you celebrating having 100% profit? Shouldn't you be um, unhappy with 100% profit, uh, you know, and going for, you know, 2,000% profits? And I understand some of the people, I understand this totally. You know, why am I happy about having only doubled my account? Why am I not happy? Why am I unhappy? Why would I not be happy? Uh, anyway, the comment was, Daniel, you know, you're the messy of trading. Why are you happy being uh, with only 100% profits? And the reason for this is because I it's like Messi going for the most amount of clean sheets. Messi's going for the most goals, you know, that consistency. He's not going to go after the clean sheets. And I recognize as my style of trading, which is primarily swing trading on low leverage, it's actually impossible for me to go for, you know, one or 2,000% profits, okay? So although, you know, I'm doing my bit for the team, I'm, I'm going for the top 10 and I'm in the money place, Okay, it's for me personally as a goal, it's unrealistic. I'm not going to be going for like 2000% profits because my style of trading right now does not fit. It's just 
actually impossible to go for 2000 percent just as it's impossible for like Messi to try and go for the most clean sheets yeah that just doesn't work so all I'm going for here is the consistency and you know for the question of Daniel if you're the Messi you're trading why you're only why are you only on 100 percent profits I mean why am I only on 100 percent profits I mean I've doubled my account in two weeks the most amount of leverage I've used is times three Personally, I'm very content with this. Our team is going well. We are set to win over $100,000. That's going to be split between the whole team. Personally, I'm content with this. Of course, I want to go for number one, but I must admit, I do think that it's going to be impossible now because these percentage, I mean, some of these some of these Koreans, they're, they're on like 9,000% profit. I mean, I'm, to be honest, I'm just not going to be able to achieve 9,000% profit because I'm not using times 100 leverage on all my trades. It's the only possible way you can do this. But yeah, hats off to the Koreans. They've obviously done extremely, extremely, extremely well. <laughs> but yeah, my style of trading is more the slow consistency over time. Um, so yeah. I'm, I admit I'm not going to get be able to get into first place. So personally, yeah, I am content having made over doubled account already. There's still another week left of the trading. See if how far how far we'll end. But um, yeah, what I want to say is thank you ever so much. I hope you've enjoyed the update. Uh, if you want to see more from us, if you want to learn how we trade, of course, this is all over on the website now. We now got the speed runs out. You got all of the uh, educational material necessary. If you want to know my trade plans then, well, that, that's how you get in to know exactly what I'm doing at the time before it happens. And I hope you've enjoyed in this video talking you through why we went through 21K, the next level then we rejected from, how we then changed market structure, got the easiest short position in the world, and then how we've taken it down to where we are now. I'm now remaining patient for either lower or a reclaim. I'm happy whatever happens from here, to be honest, and I hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed this video. As always, if you want to smash that like button, 3,000 likes, I'll give you a live stream as it's happening and talk you through that price action for free. So that's the way that you can do this. If you want to see a free live stream where I'm talking you through in the time like I would for my team, then all you need to do is hit that like 3,000 likes and I'll do it for you. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next public video or of course over in the Discord. I would just say that. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed and... Yeah, CC Paul, send their regards. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. And let's continue to crush it together. Cheers, everybody. And goodbye. With no financial advice, of course. Cheers. Thank you.